So what does $380,000 get you here in Northport, Florida for a new construction house? Hey friends, it's Noah, your favorite Northport real estate broker. In this video, we are going to be walking you through this house right behind me to share with you what $380,000 will buy you for a new construction house. So now this builder who built this house right behind me, this floor plan is a three bed, two bath, just under 1,700 square foot house, new construction, and this house right behind me is already sold. However, this builder is building a few other uh, floor plans for this home across Northport right now and so they are available for purchase they are near completion or about 60 to 90 days out from completion so if you guys want more information regarding this floor plan here definitely contact me with my information down below or you can also click the link down in the bottom of this description as well but remember guys if you guys are looking to move to the Northport area whether it be nine days or 90 days ultimately that is our team specialty is helping out-of-state buyers just like yourselves make the move as smooth as possible and what we have done because I'm not originally from Northport. I'm not originally from Sarasota. I came from Wisconsin, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a little bit. And I had a lot of questions that you know, just really weren't getting answered. And I don't want you guys going through the same exact thing as I did. So what I wanted to do is I put together a 100% free buyer's relocation guide for the city of Northport. The link is down in the description here of the bottom of this video. You guys go and check it out. It talks about the top thing, 10 things to do about Northport, what Northport's all about, some of the hotels here, the best restaurants, best places to stay, and so much more. So definitely go and check that out. And if you guys are looking for new construction here in the Northport area, and this house just really isn't your style, what we have done is we are working with builders all across the city of Northport to take all their off-market properties that they have here and kind of aggregate them into one centralized location. So if you guys want you know, a sneak peek of some off-market properties that are soon to be coming onto the market, you guys wanna get first glimpse or a first sneak peek and first dibs at these homes, put your information down. It's 100% free VIP email list. I'll email you guys what you guys are exactly looking for, fill out the form. It'll ask you guys what you're looking for, the location, everything like that. We'll get in contact and I'll make sure that we send you relevant new construction homes for you guys to take a look at as well. But with all that being said, let's go and share with you what this 1700 square foot house looks like and ultimately what $380,000 will buy you here in Northport. We explore the different new construction options here in Northport, Florida. We are going to see an array of different styles, structures, as well as price ranges. So I want to bring to you guys more of the lower entry homes for new construction here in Northport. Now, realistically, if you're looking to get into the most affordable new construction house, you're going to be looking at around $330,000. Now, that is actually by the same exact builder. It's a three bed, two bath just under 1,300 square feet. This home right here, like we mentioned before, is three bed, two bath, just under 1,700 square feet. What I like about this is that there are some features in this house that you, won't even, you wouldn't even see in a $500,000 house. And we will note that as we walk through, but as you guys can see here, we have a dedicated dining space, an open concept kitchen here with plenty of storage with the cabinets and then granite countertops with this peninsula that comes out overlooking the entertaining and living space perfect for entertaining friends family and guests now here's one thing that a lot of these homes here in Northport don't really have and they really rely on the cabinets and I'm surprised that they have it for a $380,000 house but I absolutely love that with this builder is a very sizable pantry as well so as you guys can see here plenty of storage you could even walk into this pantry if you really wanted to it's really more of a reach-in pantry but you can also walk in as well but i think that's very unique to have in a three hundred eighty thousand dollar house then over on this side of the house we do have both of the guest bedrooms both of these bedrooms do have carpet. They are decent in size. What's nice here is that you do have a closet off on the right hand side built into this bedroom as well. You have this little niche for a TV. And then over here, we are going to have just a little bit bigger of a bedroom than the one that we were just in. But once again, carpet here, very nice natural light that comes through. The closet for this bedroom is going to be straight on as I turn over here. As you guys can see, both closets are very same in size as well. But then as we walk out of this bedroom, we are going to go to the first bathroom of the house. This is a full bathroom as well. And what I love about this is that this builder actually takes this tile from the tub all the way to the ceiling. Once again, you don't really even see that much in $500,000 houses. Then we have quartz countertop here as the vanity as well. Then we have the LVP flooring that runs throughout the main living spaces, only carpet in the bedrooms. 
And then right here, as you guys can see, very spacious living room, perfect for entertaining friends and family. Then on the back side of this house, we are going to have the master suite. Once again, has the carpet in the bedrooms, but it has a very nice size walk-in closet. Once again, very surprising for a $380,000 house. But once again, I really like that in this builder as well. So a very sizable closet here for a $380,000 house. Very nice, plenty of space for all your clothes. His and her clothes can fit in there easily. Then on the back side here, we are going to be walking into the master ensuite. So as you guys, guys can see here, it is a dual sink vanity, quartz countertops, full size bathroom. Actually, it's a very sizable bathroom as well. You do have a walk-in shower right here. What's nice, once again, is that the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling and not just, you know, a couple feet down from the ceiling. So that is a huge plus to have. And then we will head out to the backyard space really quick to talk to you. What's nice about this is that there's a lot of covered patio space, right? You sometimes don't see that, you just see a little indent for patio space, but this is perfect to add even in a screened in lanai right here. Very cheap, very affordable to add in screens here for this. It's very sizable good for lawn furniture lawn or lawn chairs and then you could also even build a pool with these homes right here you could either put it off to the back or you could put it off to one side or the other which is why i do love this floor plan as well it's very it, it allows for a lot of space and in the back as well now right here you guys can see that we can fit some bar stools here at the kitchen peninsula which is nice for eating breakfast or whatever that may be now we will head over to the laundry room so here at the laundry room, it is a walk-in laundry room, so which is nice. So plenty of space for a washer and dryer. Then we also do have storage above the washer and dryer as well. And what I've seen people do is actually build in the washer and dryer to put a countertop on top as well for fold and close, whatever you may have it. Then right here, we have a very sizable garage as well. As you guys can see, there is space on both sides of this garage door, which I absolutely love because sometimes these garages can be rather tight, hard to fit two cars. Then we have a water softener here, which once again, you don't really see many builders put into this as well.